I'm Sean. And I'm Julie. And this, this is, is Salt Blood Fishing. Fishing. Welcome back guys. We're filming another episode of Salt Blood Fishing in the Building. I'm here with my beautiful wife today and we're going to get sheephead and trout. Mainly sheephead. I'm going to show you everything you need to know how to catch sheephead. The hooks, the weights, the line, everything you need. I'm going to show you how to do it today. So let's get in some action. Alright look, I hook them right in the side of the body. Right? And then out through the bottom just like that. Boom. Hey, when you feel them tap it, when you feel them tap it, pull up on it real slow. And if you feel some weight on there, snatch it. Once you, once you get it. So see, all she's doing is dropping it on the bottom. She'll let it sit and then she'll pull up on it slowly a little bit. And that's all we're doing. Oh. You got it, babe? Okay. Okay, that's a good one, babe. That's a good one. That's a big one. Hold them up. Take it easy on them. That's a big one. Nice one. Sling them in here. Bring them close. Yeah! Let your line loose. Flip your bell open. Good job, babe. That was quick. Damn! Good job, honey. Nice, boy. Let's put, let's see how big he is. Pillow out the way. He is sixteen and a half. Good job, babe. Straight through the side, guys. Oh, all right, babe. Goodness gracious. You on the bottom? You're not on the bottom. Uh-uh. Uh Drop it until it's until slack. Keep going. Right. See now they're slacking your line? Yeah. Now you're on the bottom. Now tighten it up just a little bit. Dang! You got him, baby, you got him. Get him, that's a small one. <laughs> Good job, honey. They're biting, boy. Bella, come bite this fish. Before I can even get it down there is the problem. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. You might have got it. Oh, I need to get I need to Yeah, good job. Oh! Man, babe, we might have to put a different hook on there. Fight him, babe. Keep your tip up. That's a good one. Nice. Good job, honey. Ow! You got me good. Nice one. Good job, honey. You're killing it today.
That's a good one. We got one in the boat. He's a good one. Yeah, heck yeah. Nice sheep head. Got one drunk. Or a big ass sheep head. Big sheep head. One time, bro. Yeah. Watch that he'll poke you. Man. Am I recording? Yep. He was so heavy, I thought it was a drum. Ooh, wee. Nice. He's nice. Look at all them teeth. This is guys we're back at the house what a great day i cannot be more satisfied the wife had a good day hey long as the wife's happy the life's happy she needed a break from the kids so i took her fish and put it on the fish. i'm going to show you how to clean them boneless filet how to fry them and the recipe that we're cooking is fish and grits it's a southern staple down here in florida and i'm going to show you exactly how we do it baby first thing i'm going to do i'm going to wipe all this slime off this guy all this fish slime, we're gonna wipe them down. We're gonna get them so it's not so slippery. This is a good tip when you're filleting, especially when you're using a sharp knife. It's good to go ahead and wipe this slime down so you can get a grip on him and he ain't sliding around in your hands. Just run the knife, break the skin. We're gonna start working our knife down the backbone. Be sure to run it along the backbone so you're not missing any meat. And you can hear it and you can feel it. So just run the knife down the back, down the backbone, and bust it wide open. And we're gonna take our knife, run it up here to the top of the gill plate. We're gonna run it down his stomach like this. And then fillet around the stomach bones. Beautiful, uh, beautiful fillet. We're gonna take our blade, angle it down just a little bit. Don't run it parallel with your cutting board. But angle it down just a little bit. And once you get up under there, and once you get started, get you a grip like that there. Just run your blade. Just like that. Now you can really get a good grip on it. There it is. Oh, my me. All right, guys. This is everything we need. We got pure canola oil. You got your flour, grits. These are quick grits. Usually I don't prefer these, so we're going to deal with them cheese for the grits we got our eggs for the batter seasoning lemon for the we got some scallions we gotta have butter for the grits so this is everything you need
First, you're going to take flour. I don't know, one or two cups. Mm, that's about two cups. I don't measure nothing. We got this Everglades seasoning. Healthy dollop of this or there. Like that right there. And then we're going to take some Old Bay. And you take your Old Bay seasoning. Depending on if you like it spicy, if you like the taste of Old Bay, you can, you know, add it to your liking. I love Old Bay, so I'm going to go a little, a little decent with it. Take a fork, mix this seasoning up real good. Make sure you see you mix it up real well. We want all of them seasonings dispersed throughout the flour real good. All right, guys. We're gonna wash these grits. Get you some water, toss them around, get them washed up a little bit. And then drain that water. Got our eggs in the bowl. We're going to give these a little light scramble. Just get you a decent amount. It ain't got to be that much. Just get you a decent amount in there. And then we're going to start heating this grease up. We're going to go with a medium high heat. All right, these grits call for three fourths of a cup of grits to a cup of water. We're going to go ahead and throw a generous amount of butter in with this water. Now for the fun part, for the main event. The main. Oh, we need to put this here. Put this here. Alright. So first we're going to take the fish. We're going to put them in flour first. Make sure he's fully coated in flour. Then we're going to take them over to the eggs. Coat it fully with the eggs, and then we'll take it back and put it in the flour. Make sure it's fully coated. Go ahead and shake off the excess flour, and then get them right down into the wool. Just like that. Boom. Try to hurry up. These are gonna go fast, so be ready. Goodness. Those are a little, all right, now we got the grits to a consistency we want. We're gonna add some cheese. We're going to mix these up. And then you go ahead, take you some lemon, and squeeze it over the fish. Just like that. fish and grits southern style that's it guys final product she's ready i'm gonna go ahead and taste it and see what it tastes like i'm gonna try the fish first mm. Mm. i'm not capping for the gram i'm not lying for the tube this is some of the best fish i ever had if you like today's content like and subscribe leave me a comment man let me know something you guys i appreciate every last one of you subscribers everybody that subscribed and they're leaving comments i appreciate all of you so stick around stay tuned for the next episode of salt blood fishing